how it all began exactly one year ago today. Little did I know the journey would not just be glamorous, but sometimes really challenging. And the thank yous wouldn't stop here. But I want to go the more I sleep. Okay. They Almost would go like on and on barn, and right? on, as well as the changes and transformations. It was super important to look great and to learn every beauty trick possible so that I could implement them on my own once arriving at the Mrs. America pageant in Palm Springs. Amanda, Lauren and I just want to wish you all the best of luck at Mrs. America. We know you're going to do a great job representing Georgia. Thank you. Thank you. We want you to love Maria. Amanda, we love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Thank you for all your hard work. About Kick all the rest of the country's butt when you get there. And the day had arrived. Hi, Amanda. It's another great day at the Mrs. America. I was in Palm Springs at the Mrs. America pageant. It hardly seemed real. And it was another sunny day. Schedules were hectic, mornings were early, banners always had to be worn, and you could always count on a photo opportunity. Rehearsals were long, and the dance routines, they weren't easy. Before the actual pageant, interviews with the judges were held. I may never be this skinny again. This is the single most important part of the competition, 50%. I'm telling you, those are power suits, guys. I am so impressed. Everyone looked great. Following interviews, the all-important evening gown and swimsuit competitions rounded out the remaining 50% of scores. Doesn't my roommate Kimberly look fantastic? The night before the pageant, we stayed up extremely late for one final rehearsal, practicing to perfection. And just in case your name was called to the top 10, it was important to master the enormous ramp that crossed over the pool. This is America. This is America. This is America. As the spotlights pierce California's desert skies, it's time for action, suspense, and glamour as the 50 finest married women in America take to the stage. Disguised as the extraordinary, ordinary egg from Georgia, the poultry capital of the world. As much as I dreaded being Georgia's extraordinary, ordinary egg, I came in third place in costume, and the kids loved it. Number seven, Mrs. Georgia. But the highlight of the evening, hearing my name called to the top ten. My family was ecstatic. And here's the view from my family seat behind the television cameras. Your mommy made it. And how did I feel? Extraordinary. Amanda Vogel is a producer and broadcast journalist married for 19 years to Jim, an attorney and realtor. They make their home in Aceworth and are the parents of two. Amanda is a graduate of Jacksonville State University where she majored in broadcast journalism. Her interests range from ballet, fitness modeling, to serving as an infant loss counselor. Aside from the announcer pronouncing my home city as Aceworth instead of Ackworth, it was an honor and very exciting to be seen on national television as one of America's top 10 married women. My husband, Jim, was so proud. Although my family's favorite contestant didn't win, I was a winner in their eyes. It seems surreal. Like, I can't believe it. It's going to be on television. Uh -huh. It's going to be in a chick outfit on TV. Oh, no. Upon leaving the Mrs. America pageant, my reign as Mrs. Georgia was just beginning. And to my successor, Mrs. Georgia 2006, be sure to enjoy every moment.